Welcome to WCOV Section 19 Action News at 5. I'm your anchor, Colt Goldstone, shoveling you all the fresh news straight from the stable floor. Here are tonight's top stories. As fear grips our viewing area like Coach Thompson holding on to a cheeseburger, it's brought complete pandemonium to our normally quiet streets. Our top story tonight is a continuing three-part expose on the great American toilet paper shortage of 2020. We go now live on the scene to the local superstore with action news reporter Natasha Kruger. Miss Kruger, what can you tell us about this developing story? Natasha Kruger reporting live on scene at the local Walmart where there seems to be a shortage of toilet paper and other cleaning supplies. Excuse me, ma'am. Hey, ma'am, just a second. I'm looking for some more stuff. I'd love to ask you a few questions if you have time. Okay, what do you need? Well, ma'am, oh, 16. Oh, I'm sorry. Back up, please. Social okay. distancing. Okay. Social distancing. Okay. But you seem to have uh, picked up the last few packages of toilet paper and paper towel amongst other cleaning yeah. supplies. Tell me, how did you get so lucky? I had to get up at 5 o'clock this morning yeah. and stand outside in line and wait on somebody to open the door so Which I could watch the back. Well, it is certainly challenging to find. We actually have some other customers here behind us that appear to be struggling oh, to find the lady. Um, tell me, what are your plans to use them? I've taken the She's time. She's working. Hey, Marky. I've been here. 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 i have been here 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 i have been
podcast. Thanks, Amy. It's Mimi Cotton here to deliver you a terrific Taco Tuesday weather forecast. It looks like on Tuesday, a huge cold front will be heading our way. Tuesday's cold front will be bringing us some snow. Can you believe it? Snow! <laughs> yes, I've said it. Snow. So make sure you go to the store and buy some milk and bread. Well, gotta go get ready to make some milk sandwiches. It's going to be delicious. That milk sandwich looks so good. I am so happy I get to share with you wonderful Wednesday's weather. And we're gonna love the weather that day. Well, most of it until the hailstorm. Oh, oh, oh. As you can see, hell is not wonderful. It hurts. Ow. And it can damage your cars. Oh, by the way, did you hear what the hail said to my car? Hello, ice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's nice to meet you, Tammy Turbulence Jones. How is Thursday's weather looking? Thursday's going to be, well, I was going to say terrific, but I hate to tell you, it's not looking much better for Thursday. It will be so cloudy, you might can't see right in front of your face. As you can see, you'll need to be extremely careful. I would advise you to, do, to stay at home and don't drive. I would also advise that you don't connect your phone to the cloud that day. You might get some missed calls. And now for our Friday forecast, downtown blustery brown, take it away. You might wonder why I have this umbrella here. Well, as Snoop Dogg says, it's full drizzle. In the morning, it's going to start to drizzle. And then as the day goes on, it's going to get a lot heavier. And then at the very end, you would even say it might be raining buckets of water. Whew. Okay, so folks, just saying, on Friday, just saying, don't worry about the rain jacket unless you have a convertible. If you have a convertible, drive it down the road with the top down because then you can drive in the carpool lane. Thanks, ladies. I've been coming up with all those weather puns was a breeze. <laughs> but honestly, I think most of the jokes were a little dry. The weather is snow joke. Cold. Now it's time for a mental health moment with Mrs. Breslin. This is the I cannot believe I still have to do schoolwork pose. This is the I'm going to run to a restaurant when they finally open those. Do this at least twice a day. Namaste. This has been a Mental Health Moment with Mrs. Breslin. Oh. Well, spring is in the air, Colts fans, and you know what that means. No, that was a question. What, what does that mean? I mean, every week, every season, it, it just looks the same. It's, it's like that movie Groundhog Day. It just kind of keeps repeating itself. It's over and over and over. Go cool. Sports. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, sports. It's time for sports. So, let's go live to our sports reporter, Mr. Daniel Smith, in the gym check out basketball workouts. Daniel! Daniel Smith coming to you live from the West Stanley High School Gymnasium where the off-season is well underway. We're here with John Thompson as he's going through some off-season summer workouts. Let's take a look and see how the team's doing this year. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, hey, good look, good look. Nice pass. Good pass, Shaq and boy. All right. Austin, come on, Austin. That's not a good shot. Come on, that's not a good shot. We can do better than that. Here you go. Hey, hey, next one, next one, next one, next one. Coach, how's the team looking this year? I gotta say, it's it's going real well. Um, you know, these these spring and summer workouts. Uh, this is the most coachable group of kids I, I've ever coached. Um, 
you know, having Mac talk to me one time, um, you know, we're shooting the ball well. I don't know if we missed a shot today in practice. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going very well so far. Um, you know, been working on a new playbook. Uh, um, you know, it's, it's still a little thin right now. I mean, um, um, you know, for example, the new inbounds plays we've got, we, we only have 62 of those so far. Um, so, you know, once we get the, the, the full book of those in, uh, we'll be fine. That's great. Well, Coach, it looks like you've got the ball rolling here. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thanks, Daniel. Keep up the good work, Coach Thompson. We're depending on you. Daniel also checked in on our PE classes here at West Stanley High School with our head strength and conditioning coach and his star students. Daniel, what's going on with the PE classes? Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in the West Stanley weight room where the head strength and conditioning coach is about to put two students through a workout. All right, guys, we got 10 squats. Go. <sighs> Y'all can do better than that. All right, guys, we're doing a speed development session. We're going to end with a 10 yard sprint. The winner has the board. Runners, take your mark. Set, go. It's a close one. And Jonathan with the win. You got the board. Thanks, Coach J-Rock. You are the man. Go. Well, if there's one thing that we can all agree about, about this quarantine, it's, it's time we've got to spend together with our loved ones, reconnecting with our family through long talks and everyone coming together in agreement, united in one common truth. Carol Baskin definitely killed her husband and fed him to the tigers. Carol Baskin killed her husband, whacked him. Can't convince me that it didn't happen. Fed him to tigers, they snacking. What's happening? Carol Baskin. Thanks, Tiger King and Netflix for being there with us through this difficult time. Cole. Now it's time for a segment we call A Closer Look. Students and teachers are having to get used to a whole new way of educating, whether it be virtually, one of those magic thinking boxes you young folks call computers, or having to do the unthinkable, spending time teaching their own children. Here's our own Robert Leto and Kathy Holly on the homeschooling experience. Hi, and welcome to High Homeschool Academy. Today you will find out some awesome things that are taking place right here in our very special homeschool. The first thing on our agenda at the High Homeschool is to study our math IXLs for 7th grade. Will, how's it going? It's going good. Really? Awesome. Let me see how it's going. Oh. PE class here at the High Homeschool Academy seems to be going extremely well. Here's yeah. Will now. Let's go! Woo and today in the homeschool, we're gonna, we're gonna be going over marsupials, boys. We're gonna be looking at page 10 and 11. We're gonna be studying marsupials. Listen, I want you guys to study this and get back to it. I want a, I want a four page That's paper right. on my desk on Monday a four-page paper over the biotic life cycle of common marsupials. Can y'all do that for me? Yeah. What about you? No? All right, that's detention. Mm -hmm. that's, you know what? I'm going to write that up. All right. I'm still. That's not funny. Well, you know what, sir? You're not supposed to back talk your teacher. That's going to be, you know, that's going to be a five-page paper for you, a four-page mm -hmm. paper for you. Thank you, guys. Love y'all. Hey, hey, Cole, we're home. Oh, oh uh, uh, we're back. Uh, yeah, well, and uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Leto and Ms. Ty, for that riveting look into whatever it is you were taking a riveting look into. Um, Cole! Now it's time for a mental health home with Mrs. Britt. 
Every cloud has a silver lining. Never judge a book by its cover. Everything's gonna be okay. We all love being home with our families. This has been a mental health moment with Mrs. Spread. Cole? You know, as difficult as it is to believe, we will return to normal school one day. The days of sleeping in till noon and doing classwork in your PJs will be a distant memory. But what happens when you just don't have it in you? What do you do when you just can't handle the daily grind of normal school day and you need a break? Well, here's Lifestyles correspondent Marty Ingram with some advice on how you handle those days. How can I be expected to go to school on a day like today? The key to faking out the parents is clammy hands. I'm a big believer in it. Now, some will tell you that a phony fever works every time, but you get a nervous mother and you could end up in the, in the doctor's office. And that's worse than school. You fake a stomach cramp, and when you're bent over, moaning and wailing, you lick your palms. I know it sounds childish, but then again, so is high school. The administration and staff at West Stanley High School does not endorse ever staying home from school. The opinions expressed in the previous segment do not in any way reflect the views of this station. Thank you. We here at Station WCOV always ask the tough questions as we dig a little deeper. Tonight, in our Dig a Little Deeper segment, we ask the question, is Miss Ward smarter than a squirrel? As I take a look right there out at my window, and of course we have a hummingbird feeder, I have another bird feeder, and uh, then way out in some trees over there, I have basically right there, that tree right there, has uh, a plantern on it, and we put a bird feeder on it. And the squirrels um, just would jump on that little, that little um, hanger and go out and eat all our bird food. And so um, what I have figured out during this COVID-19 um, quarantine is am I, Mrs. Ward, am I smarter than a squirrel? I, I, I think that gives us the answer we're all looking for. Um, uh, but for further comment, we go to animal expert Randy Fox. One hundred percent of fat dogs like social distancing. Absolutely, Mr. Fike. I couldn't have said it better myself. Cole, we'd like to end tonight's broadcast on a serious note. These past few months have been the most difficult any of us here at West Hamley or any educator for that matter can imagine. We chose the path in education and come to work every day because of you the students, seeing you learn and grow into young men and women and sending you off into the world as adults or payment far greater than any money that we could receive. Everything we do as educators is about you. So to have that personal contact that we have with you each day taken away has been devastating. To not see you in the classroom every day, on stage or on the field or on the court has reminded us how fortunate we are to be able to play just a small part in the journey to your adulthood. Rest assured that not a day goes by that all of you are on our minds. For the seniors, thank you for the time you spent here, for being part of the Cold family. For the underclassmen, keep pushing forward, striving to be the best you can be until we are back together again. You are Cold Strong. From all of us here at your school, we love and miss you, Colts. And to quote one of the great West Hamlin teachers, Mr. Mark Rolls, we are West Hamlin. Stay strong. Stay safe. Good night.